Good morning, you guys, and a very happy new year. This is our first video of 2022, and that just sounds so crazy to say out loud that we are even in this year, but today is a very exciting day. We are starting our first project of the year, and it's kind of something we've already done. Uh, we've done this huge barn door built in, and we're about to do something to the same format, but com something completely different. Here is the little um, rendering of it. It's more modern and a different color than what we've ever done before, which is really fun. Dylan is on his morning uh, coffee run, but this afternoon we are running to Home Depot to get our materials. This is more so of a, I guess, a vlog style video. I don't know, we wanna show our faces more in these videos and talk a little bit more, so here we go. Dylan is now home and doing something with the tractor. I think picking up uh, pallet forks that he just brought over. You can see them. Anyway, so before we go get more materials, I need to kind of clear this area up so we have a place to put them because nowhere else for them to go but here. So I'm gonna do that. day like for start up first try all day yeah i'm waiting for something to explode right stop. now stop Separator. Oh, it's pretty slick. Oh, so much MDF. Yeah, Mullet sent us this dust separator. We're not being paid to talk about it or anything like that. They just sent it like several months ago. I finally got to try it out. This, the reason why I want something like this in particular is because things like the track saw and the Festival Domino create a ton of dust and uh, even some bigger chips. And it fills up the Festool um, dust cycle. What is this called? Dust Cy extractor? Yeah. I call it a, a dust collector or shop vac, but they call it dust extractor. Extractor. <laughs> anyway, this just allows you to extend the life of the bag that's inside, the filter bag, 
and you don't have to change it as much, and it's a bit easier to change out. Ugh. You just do that and then dump it out, which is pretty slick. What we're doing, since I never really explained it, is uh, we're breaking down materials for this media center build, and the way I'm doing it is that I'm breaking it down into what we're calling like primary cuts, so like the long rips that need to happen using the track saw. And I'm bleeding them against the wall in like the same orientation that the sheet would be. That way when I come back to my plans, I can put them on the table saw and easily manage them. So just breaking materials <clears throat> down. First time we're getting to do this in the new shop with the whole setup and everything, it's pretty slick. It's like gone really fast and really easily. So we only have three more sheets to break down and then I can start, you know, doing final dimensions on all of them. On the table saw. Yeah. There's only so much filming of cutting I can do, so I'm going to come inside and make us some lunch, and then we'll get back to the filming process when we're putting it all together, or if something else interesting happens. Fancy. Oh. <laughs> Look at our swole on. Our swole? Yeah. Okay. Oh lord. <laughs> There's so much grease on this. Wait, that's like half your body weight right there. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. <laughs> you only weigh like 100 pounds. No, I don't. <laughs> that's the beat. 110 tops. No, I don't. Oh, God. My shoulders already hurt. <laughs> what am I going to be doing for the next year? Uh. So that new barbell is going in our new gym. I have spent days cleaning out Dylan's old office to put a new squat rack. We bought a squat rack for this barbell and weights. Uh, we canceled our gym memberships and we're just going to start working out, on, working out at home because new year, new fitness goals, blah, blah, blah. But let me show you. So this is going to be our gym. Here's the barbell. This is a new tool that we need to set up. Wink, wink. Squat rack's going here and then these bikes will eventually get put on this wall. We have two of those. And then maybe a treadmill can fit here, but here's um, some baskets that we had in our um, shed video. Now I'm just gonna put some foam rollers and a yoga mat there for now. But this is going to be our full gym. And I cannot freaking wait. Because as you saw just a second ago, having a hard time lifting 45 pounds and that needs to change. Eventually we're gonna make a video of redoing this room and doing it up to making it look like a gym with mirrors and maybe some more weights if I can find some that are cheap enough because for some reason that 
I didn't know about weights are expensive, so we're gonna have to take our time with that. So that's gonna do it for this week's video. The only thing we got done this week was um, getting materials and then cutting the materials to link. So starting in the next few days, well, it'll be the next video, but it'll be the next few days for us. Um, we're gonna be building the middle section of the media center, so get ready for that. But also what we have to start thinking about is paint choices. So I have these paint choices. Can you see is it focused? It's lighting okay. I have these paint choices. You can kind of see the names on them there um, that we just start thinking about. We're going for a darker green and for some context, the walls where this is going are white. I think they're alabaster white. Um, so question is, do we go lighter or do we go darker or do we go somewhere in between? So comment down below which color you think. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you in the next one.